My whole kitchen was in flames, the, the brightest flames I've ever seen before. I've never seen anything like that. I, I really didn't know what to do other than yell, my house is on fire. And I ran outside and I just, I just watched my house burn. My name is Michael Berry. I work for Worcester Fire. Uh, I'm part of the Worcester Fire investigation team. When we arrived on scene, we knew that we had pretty extensive fire because we could see it right when we pulled up. These people, you know, have just been through a lot. They've, a lot of them have lost everything um, that they've ever owned. I asked them, what kind of family do you have in town? Any place to go? And uh, when it's, no, I've lost everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's when I know I can reach out to Grace and say, we need help in this situation. My name is Heather Olson, and I'm the school-based service coordinator for Worcester City Schools. Um, I often have the opportunity to walk alongside families when they experience trauma, grief, and loss, and that's how I became connected uh, with this particular family and situation. Um, Carlin and I connected, and um, he shared with me some of the things that he was able to put in place, and we both kind of stepped back and were like, in awe that less than 24 hours from when this tragedy occurred that this family, most of their tangible needs, including Christmas gifts, because it was right before Christmas, had been met. And uh, that was amazing to witness and be a part of. Honestly, if it wasn't for Grace Church and Worcester City Schools, I don't know what we would have done. Just everything was gone. And like, I didn't know how we were gonna make it out of that situation like for my community to come together i was not expecting that at all that is what gives me hope and i will never forget what they did for us the hope that someone loses in a situation like that is extensive so for us to have an immediate someone to turn to and to see them go from tears of sadness to tears of joy is really cool to see. Knowing that you can be a part of creating hope, of creating a picture of new beginnings and what's on the other side of it um, is a privilege. And without the support, without the generosity of the people of Grace, the community would not get the opportunity to see the hands and feet of Christ at work.